the okay morning everyone i'm evelyn your children friends so today we'll be talking about yeah surprise huh? today we'll be talking about what maybe you know maybe you don't know but let's as usual start off with a word of prayer okay uh, if you can close your eyes and bow your heads <coughs> and then i will pray <coughs> and then when we say amen then we can start singing Lord Jesus, we thank you for another nice morning where we can gather again together with our friends and with our teachers to learn about you. We pray that we would be uh, able to truly learn about you and we would through this know you more because we know that through knowing you, Jesus, that we can be, uh, have all these fruits of the Spirit that we want to have. Help us to learn and be attentive today and uh, learn a lot indeed this morning. And all of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So. So the first one. Okay. Listen to the fruit of the Spirit song first, huh? Actually, after listening to it for so many times already, this is the last, the eighth time. How many of you can remember the song? Yeah. yeah, probably they can memorize it already. Anyway, it's a very fun song, lah, so it's okay. <laughs> it's one of the most, uh, what do you call it? Bouncy songs for children. Mm. Good morning. Take some time to load. Have you clicked the thing? Hey, what happened? Huh? Stop again. Because my screen went blank. No. Let's play. You should play. What's happening? Number, number press play. Play. Press play. Ah, okay.
exam the other day. Okay, so we Jesus strong and kind of next song. Children join in the song, okay? Time now to Sister Angie. Thank, thank you, Joshua. Uh, so we will now watch the video first, right? Yes. Hi boys and girls, it's Auntie Etta. Do you remember what the Bible lessons have been about these past few weeks? Um, God? Um, Jesus? Well, yes, everything we learn about in the Bible is about God and Jesus, but we have been learning specifically about the fruits of the spirits, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
So we have two Bible lessons left on the fruits of the spirit. We have gentleness and self-control, and this week we'll be discussing gentleness. In our kindness video, we talked about a Bible verse found in Proverbs 15.1. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now let's take a look at another couple of Bible verses that talk about gentleness. In Philippians 4, verse 5, it says, Let your gentleness be evident to all. And in Ephesians 4, verse 2, it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing one another in love. When we choose to respond to others in a gentle manner, instead of anger, we are showing others those fruits of the Spirit that are gifts from God. So let's take a look at a story in the Bible found in John 8, verses 1 through 11, that shows us Jesus' gentle response to a woman caught in sin. We read in John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11, But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the morning, and he came again to the temple. And all the people came to him, and he sat down and he taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and placing her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? This they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. So Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Who has no one com condemned you? And she said, Not one, Lord. And Jesus said, Well, neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Here we see a beautiful story of the way that Jesus dealt with a woman caught in sin. The religious leaders were more concerned with tricking Jesus into doing the wrong thing than actually helping the woman. Even though she did do the wrong thing, Jesus showed his love, compassion, and gentleness when all her accusers had gone away. He asked if anyone was without sin, that they could throw the first stone. But not one person could do that because we are all sinners. Jesus forgave the woman and told her to go and sin no more. So let's take a look at another Bible story found in Matthew chapter 26, verses 47 to 52 where Jesus responds in gentleness to those who were against him. While he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And he kissed him. And Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you have came to do. And then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant 
of the high priest and cut off his ear. And then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish with the sword. So here's a story about Jesus and the way that Jesus responds to Judas betraying him without anger. And the way that he stops Peter from fighting is a great example to us of gentleness. So kids, it's so important to remember that we are all sinners. There is none righteous, no, not one. We are no better than anyone else. And even as Christians, the only thing that makes us different from those who are not Christians is God's love and forgiveness in our lives. How can you show gentleness to others this week? Okay, morning children. Morning children. Um, okay, so just now we saw uh we saw the video, right? There are two there are two stories from the Bible that show how Jesus is being gentle. Okay. 在那个刚才的video,我们有看到有两个圣经里面的故事,是讲到耶稣是怎么样温柔的对待其他人。第一个故事是讲到有一个女人,她因为她一直生病,然后很久了,医生都医不好,每个人都觉得她 是不干净的，不圣洁的，所以他们也不要让他动他。所以，OK，在很久很久以前，如果你一直流血的话，你是属于不干净的，所以没有人要动你。所以你可以想象一下，如果你去学校，如果你去学校的时候，每个人都不要
，当你抱抱这个 baby 的时候，你就会很温柔的对待他。You really will be very careful and very gentle. 你会很小心，然后很温柔，对不对 ？That's how you can do with your things. 你的玩具 ，or with people. 呃，当别人来的时候，就很像耶稣一样。呃，当呃呃 ，Judas 还带着呃人来要抓他的时候。他选择不要反击，反而他呃，他 even 嗯、呃，他甚至医治了另外一个人的耳朵，对不对？因为是他的仇人，他也是医治他的耳朵，所以他选择温柔的对待他身边的人。就是因为有这样子的温柔，他才可以跟别人不一样，对吗？因为是嗯、呃、，it's natural for you to react， 你很是很容易会反应的。当一个事情发生的时候，如果有个石头要掉到你的身上了，你是不是很自然的会闪开 ？It's easy to react, but when you choose to act, right? 当你选择一个行为的时候，你要经过你的思考，你会去想这样哦，我要怎么样做才可以体现出温柔 ？It's not easy. OK， 是不容易的。如果你要体现温柔，是不容易的，因为你需要嗯。Um, 原谅别人，你需要把你心里面的呃生气拿掉。你不生气别人，你才可以温柔的对待别人。你要有爱在你的心里。你 when 如果你不爱你的弟弟或者不爱那个 baby 的话，等你就会摇他，一直吵，一直吵。我要摇摇摇摇，看你会不会安静一点。No right， 因为你爱他，所以你不会这样子做。OK， so 第一个是行为上，呃，你可以表现的。温柔。第二个是言语上，有时候我们行为上表现得很温柔，但是我们用言语伤害别人。你知道，如果你讲话也是可以让别人难过跟伤心的吗？如果每天每天我都跟 ，if every day I tell um who let me choose I tell her her I don't like you her her you hear me or not? I don't.、Yeah. I don't like you. I don't like your hair. I don't like the game that you prepare. I don't. I just don't like you. Every day, if someone say this to you, do you feel sad? Yeah. You feel sad, right? Okay. But angry at the same time. And angry, right? Yeah. You don't know how the other person will react. May it may be anger. It may be sad. It may be um. He also may may cause him to lose the self esteem. He don't believe in himself anymore. Oh, teacher, you say my game sucks. Next time I don't, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot prepare game anymore because teacher, you say the game not nice. Okay, so when you choose, sometimes you think you beat someone is very hurtful, right? But when you beat someone, after a while, the pain will go away. But if you speak something that is bad to someone, right? Not gentle, right? If you use unkind words to say to others, the impression lasts longer than beating the hand. Beating the hand after a while, forget already. But if you choose to use a very、um, harsh word against other people, I think after next week, next week, next week, Pearl will say, "No lah, teacher and just say not nice. The game not nice." We、we'll、always remember it, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so we must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose to speak the right word. We must always choose But you can also choose to look at the cup and say, "Hey, it's half full." So, but it's the same thing, right? Half empty and half full is the same thing. So, it's how you want to say it. You can always say it in a nice way, and when you say it in a nice way, you help another person. Okay, 听得明白吗？你可以讲一，讲少的一半而已。你也可以讲一，哦、oh, ，哇哦，一半，哇，有一半哎，是。是一样的东西，可是你有两种不一样的说法，讲出来的东西是一模一样的意思。可是听到第二个是比较开心，对不对？对吗？对。<笑> OK， so 现在我要做一个嗯、um, activity， 你们可以看
how words can destroy someone, okay? So, uh, can highlight me in the... Uh, can, uh, Auntie Lin can highlight me in, on the screen. I want to show them something. If you cannot, so never mind. Okay, y'all look at my screen. Okay, Auntie Evelyn um, has helped me to prepare a slide. So how do you, do you know what it is? Not? Well, I'm not sure whether y'all can see clearly. Okay, thank you, whoever who respond. Um, okay, this is an egg, right? Who know how to cook an egg? Oh, what's that? Why we don't have eggs? Okay, who know how to cook eggs? <laughs> okay, eggs, right? Very fresh. Here. The shell, right, is built to protect. Okay, supposedly inside have a chip, lah, but it's so huge. the one that we bought don't have baby chip inside, so don't worry. If I put her picture, then this all this will be covered. Uh, okay, so, right, uh, okay, so the shell, right, is it's very. It's very strong because it is built to protect the little life inside, okay? So it's just like us, okay? This is a person. So when, here, I have two eggs here, okay? So you can choose to speak gentle word, okay? Like a cotton, very, uh, very soft. Or you can use sharp word to attack every day, okay? So imagine uh, if this egg I press, see, it won't break. Riyom, you want to try to hold it tight? Not very super tight, but you hold it tight. Hold like that, okay? Later, you all can all try with your own egg, okay? But ask your mama first. If not, later, mommy say, Hey, how come all my egg is gone? Okay. So you hold it tight. Actually, it will protect. So it won't break so easily. But what happened next? See ya. Uh, if, I, if I say, Hey, you look beautiful today. Okay, and then I say, wow, you did so well in your exam. Even when something bad happened, we can say nice words. Oh, you didn't do so well in your exam this round, but I know you tried your best, right? Okay, so I use a Q-tip and pop and pop and pop and pop. Then I press again. It's still the same. It's still intact. But look at this. Another, this is called box. Okay, this egg called Bob, eh? just now the egg called uh, Abel. <laughs> okay, so I use sharp word. To, I didn't know I'm attacking him, you know, because you see, I say, e, how come your shirt not nice one? I pocket. it. Okay, and then I say, mm, today the food you prepare, not nice at all. I would rather eat the one um McDonald's. I would rather eat McDonald's. So I pop again. Okay, and then I say, "Ha! Huh, how come you're so stupid?" Yeah, I pop again. Um, uh, who? Jiaxuan, can you say something bad to Bob? How come you're so round? Huh? Uh, Jia Ying. Jia Ying. can you say something bad to Bob? So many people. Yo, nobody can say anything bad, is it? Uh, <laughs> Matthew, can you say something bad to Bob? They are all very kind people. Oh, yeah. I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> cannot think of anything bad, is it? I cannot. I cannot say. Okay, cannot say bad. <laughs> Okay, very good. Rion, you got anything bad to say to Bob? Say, you are so over shaped, not nice. I think the, cho the children are very uh, kind. And gentle, is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I, I, I will do it. I will do it. Oh, okay. Uncle Joseph want to say it. Uh, huh. Bob, how come you are so fragile? Touch only, you, ah, you break. Huh? Touch yeah. only, you break. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> Why are you not strong? Why are you not strong? <laughs> not strong. Hmm. How come? The ostrich egg so big. This chicken egg so small. Huh? Lousy. Uh, how come? Cannot eat one? Hmm? Lousy. Okay, and then you see what happened next, okay? Then, like just now that egg, uh, what I will do, I will crush it and uh, the egg will crack. 
Just now that egg is still here. See, I try to crush it. Same strength, but it won't crack. Okay. So even if you don't see the, even if you don't see the damage you do when you say little little bad thing, right? It actually will cause damage because you see this this screwdriver can only make such a small hole. It just make a small hole. You can't even see it. See, you put a hole, a hole. You can't even see the hole. But when you have many, 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 many hole, it actually crack the person. Okay. So this is how important it is, right? For us to think before we speak and think before we act. Okay. We need to be gentle to our things. We need to be gentle to people. We need to be gentle not only to babies. We need to be gentle to old people also and your friends, your peers. Your parents, sometimes you think parents is here, are here to protect us, right? But we should also love our parents and show them gentleness. This is like how Jesus showed his gentleness to us. Because when we do a lot of bad things, right? Jesus chose to react gently by um, dying on the cross for us so that we can have salvation, you know? He can choose just to say, yeah, this one, uh, Rion, hopeless already. Every time also like that, I choose my salvation, exclude her. But he didn't, you know, he include all of us, no matter what we do and no matter how, how, how many times we did it. Sometimes mama say off the TV, but then we say, oh, okay, okay, but we didn't. Then we repeat it again and again. But then again, we will be forgiven, right? Just like how um, Jesus forgive, uh, God forgive our sin through Jesus, Okay. So, because we receive such grace and gentleness from Jesus, right? We can also, as his ambassador, display this gentleness to the people around us so that they can see the goodness of God. They can see, oh, I know Rion is such a good girl because he has the Holy Spirit living in her. Okay, that's why we learn about the fruit of the Spirit, right? Love, joy, peace, patience. Who can, who can say all? Oh, <laughs> love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah. So all these within us, right, give out a fragrance. What is a fragrance? Xiang Wei. So when I go near to uh, Jia Ying, mm, smell good. Even never shower also smell good because I can see the fruit of the spirit in her. Okay. And I go to, go to Matthew. Mm, I can smell something special because... There is this fruit of the Spirit in him. He is kind. He is gentle. He is good. He is patient. And then next week, we are going to learn about self-control. And we have self-control. All this thing, right, is visible. Okay? Holy Spirit, you cannot see, right? It's not like in the Chinese show, there's a ghost coming. Not that kind of spirit, you know? Holy Spirit is in us. People cannot see it. You can't see it. But all this will be displayed outwardly. Okay, in your behavior, in your speech. So it's important for us to always practice, always practice to be gentle. Okay, Anna? Okay? Okay. If not, you crack other people like egg, you know, crack Auntie Evelyn, crack Jia Xing, uh, Jia Ying, crack Jia Xian, crack Rion, and everyone become broken egg. So the whole world becomes so broken. Right, Anna? Only, not only broken, but become very weak, you know, not strong. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's that's all I want to share today. We can move on to the memory words. Okay, so it six Matthew. Uh, this is this week one, right? Yeah. Mm. Matthew eleven twenty nine. Who can read? Matthew can read, Anna. Yes. Okay. Take my yoke. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and low in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. Hmm. He is you, okay? So take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Okay, so this who who say this? Is it Matthew say this? Or Uncle Joseph? Me. No, me. Me. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew. Okay, actually this verse, right, is actually, uh, this is uh, spoken by Jesus. 
So Jesus said, take my yoke upon you. And uh, uh, take, take my yoke upon you, meaning we put Jesus' yoke upon us and be like him. Learn from him. Learn of him. For I am meek and lowly in heart. Meek is um, like humbleness. So when you are humble, you can learn to be gentle. When you think very highly of yourself, right? You tend to be very arrogant. So you will scold people. How come not nice one? Your shirt like that, polka dot. Eee, look like what? Look like a cheetah. How come your stripy shirt look like a zebra? So you always comment, comment, comment. Because you think highly about yourself. But Jesus is, um, even though he is the prince of the universe, he is, he is, um, he is the ruler of all, right? He's like the king, okay? But he is so gentle and meek, okay? He is lowly at heart. He don't think very highly. He know who he, he is, but he didn't show, he didn't oppress, okay? That's why he is the prince of peace, okay? He bring peace to us. So when we learn from Jesus and be gentle, be lowly and be meek, right? We can find rest in our soul, okay? So we won't be so tired and very soon in this busy world. We know our world now is very busy, right? Everyone is very fast-paced. We're walking very fast, escalator very fast. Last time, don't have all this, right? But we can find peace and rest in Him. Okay? Can I not? Hmm? Okay. So we want to revise um, the memory verse last week. Let us hold what to the what we claim to have. To God, uh, the God who promised is what? Who can remember? Anyone? Jia Ying, Jia Xian, Jia Xian. When you hold something, do you hold firmly or you hold gently like the egg you are holding? Which one? <laughs> Huh? You are muted, is it? Okay. Anyone? Rion, you want to try? Let us hold. Okay. You can okay. hold it firmly or you can hold it loosely. Who thinks it's firmly? Just and say it's firmly. Firmly. Let us hold firmly to the what that we claim to have. Okay. Hold firmly to what? Hold firmly to the egg that we claim to have. All right. <laughs> Okay. When we believe in Jesus, we will have this thing called hope because Jesus promised to give us eternal life when we believe in him. So let us hold firmly to this hope. Yeah. When we choose to believe already, right? We need to hold on firmly. We cannot today say, hmm, I think I, I think I believe in Jesus. Then tomorrow, hmm, I think no, 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 no. Jesus is not right for me. So when we proclaim the faith and the hope that we have already, we must hold on firmly and then we must display all within us, right? The fruit of the spirit so that people can see that we proclaim, uh, we, we proclaim what we have, right? It's, it's something that we truly believe, okay? To the, uh, the God who promised the hope, okay? God promised this hope to us and he who promised, right, is... Is start with F. Start with F. Yeah. Is what? Ah, Rion, come. Faithful. 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 Yes. Okay. So faithful means like steadfast. Uh, means being true to what you say, right? It means we can trust that this person will always. Fulfill his promise. Okay? Okay, we read together, can I not, children? I'm mute. Okay, one, two. Hebrew chapter 10, verse 20. 23. Let us, Let us hold 
Firmly, firmly to the claim to have a very good. Okay, now let me pass the time back to uh, Joshua. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, teacher Angie. Thank you for showing us such a good, interesting example as well. So today, yeah, great example on gentleness. But we have a even greater example that teacher Angie was talking about, and which was Jesus, a uh, actual human that was on the earth and how he was gentle, right? Okay, so let us sing the song about this great example, gentle Jesus. Yeah, can start it. Teacher Joshua for the meaningful song. Now I'd like to invite um, Matthew Lim to say the closing prayer for us. Matthew Lim. Okay. Say now. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for teaching us to be gentle to all our loved ones today. We pray and ask Lord, that you help us to keep your word in our hearts. Pray that you continue to protect us and help us to walk in you and love you more each week. Thank you for keeping us safe and providing us all our needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right. And now for the blessings, okay? We thank you, Lord, for the children at Nusa Praise Kids as they are precious in your sight. We also want to ask for your blessings upon, their, upon them and their fathers who are working in Singapore. 
We pray that you protect them and keep them safe from the pestilence. We ask for your healing hands also, Lord. Be upon Turka and Turway's father and grant him speedy recovery from his conditions. Now for the blessings. May the grace of Jesus Christ and the love of the Lord and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Shall we all sing the threefold Amen, children? Okay, can you all please unmute? Children, please unmute and we sing the threefold Amen, okay? Are you all unmuted? Ready? Ready, yeah, okay. Go. Thanks for coming, children. Really enjoy this today's lesson, right? Auntie Angie really gave us a good demonstration of the eggs and how to be gentle. Yeah. yeah next time when you eat the eggs, I remember. <laughs> Even though you got to break it, break it gently, okay? <laughs> yeah, indeed, huh? Right. Um, I hope we all can display that fruit of the spirit in us through gentleness and like what teacher Angie said, it will be like fragrance to us, to draw others to us, okay? And then when you draw others to you, uh, you also will bring God's goodness to them. Okay, children? All right, for those who want to talk to me, you all can always WhatsApp me as I, I, I will say, I'm always, I'm available, but unless you call me at the wrong time, I'll tell you that I'm not free to talk to you, okay? All right? But you can always call me. Thank you, Joshua, for today. And thank you, Angie, also. Bye. Okay. Bye bye, children. Bye. See you all again next week. Bye. Uh, bye. 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 Abby, Abby, are you there? Abby? Abby left already. Bye. Abby left. Okay. Never mind. Thanks, Abby. Bye. 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 Thanks. Thanks for your contribution. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye bye. Thank you. I like your headphone. Okay. <laughs> I like your headphone only. You take it out. <laughs> Keep it on like mine. Okay, bye.